He's back on it. <laughs> there he is. Hey, fish on, Corey. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Y'all, look at this. This is a different location for sure compared to what we're used to. Man, I am feel like I'm out of my element right now. We're going to try to do some urban sheephead fishing here in downtown Pensacola, guys, okay? There has been some reports. I actually came here a month ago and tried for sheephead. Caught two of them, had them on the water, had them up to the water level. They got off. So I know that there's sheephead here. But uh, man, we are gonna try really hard. All right, so let me show you guys what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna be putting on some split shots, just tiny, tiny little split shots, just to help these crabs get down to the bottom. I mean, this is a super, super tiny little weight. And man, we're just gonna put this thing probably like five inches from the hook, just like that. And we're gonna squeeze her on there, make sure she doesn't go down. And look at that, that's all you need to do right there, guys. And I'll tell you what, that right there should catch a nice quality sheephead. Now, I've seen a ton of black drum in this area too, so yeah. there's a good possibility that we could hook up on a big black drum if we're uh, using like live shrimp or something. Uh-oh, fish on, good fish. Oh, gone it. That's the black drum I was just talking about. Oh my gosh, guys. I got a freaking monster on. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Dude, I got a monster on. I'm, I'm, should I open the bale? <laughs> there it goes. Holy crap. Guys, I'm sitting there talking about a black drum. And what do you know? As I'm sitting there talking about it, a black drum comes out of nowhere and just annihilates the freaking bait. Unbelievable. Broke me off right at the split shot, man. That was a monster, brother. That was a monster right there. Oh, oh that, might been a, that might have been a bite right there, guys. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just got a sheephead bite. 100%. 100%. Go, go, go on it. All right, I 100% just got a little bite over here. So we're dropping straight back down to where we were. And we're going to get this bad boy. 100%. I'm too busy. I was too busy uh, worrying about that wolf dog behind me. Oh, yeah. He's back on it. <laughs> there he is. Hey, fish on, Corey. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I'm trying. I'm trying, dude. Oh. Oh no, are you kidding me right now? Hey, grab that net, grab that net. And my pure cart. Oh, if I get this guy out, it's gonna be a miracle. If I somehow land this, it's gonna be a miracle. Oh my gosh, he's rubbing on, he's rubbing on the bottom of that pier, guys. Oh no. Oh, you ready, Corey? Yeah. Sam, come here. Oh. I don't know what it, oh, it's a nice sheep. It's a nice sheep head. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. He's barely hooked. Oh my God, nice sheep, nice sheep head. No, 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 no. Oh no. Drop it lower. Drop, pull it up. There we go. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is what we are after, baby. Kyle for a while takes the lead this time. <laughs> so I literally dropped down there the first time I got robbed and I dropped, I dropped back down and sure enough, he was down there. Look at that hook set right in the corner of the mouth. That is the targeted species right there, guys. Unbelievable, man. And tight quarters. Did you see that fight? Yeah, that was awesome. you guys, here, show them, show them the space that I have to fight that fish in. Look at this. I mean, it's literally probably about a two and a half foot gap that you have to fight these fish in, man. And that's not a bad one either. I would honestly be kind of scared if that wolf dog came over here, man. He may, he may try to get himself a little meal. Y'all look at that. Beautiful little sheep head, man. Let me go ahead and grab him like that. Beautiful fish. That's not a bad one either. Heck yeah. Well, we're gonna go ahead and put another crab down, man. Try to get another one. That's dandy right there. Me and my fiance are gonna be eating good tonight. Awesome fish, man.
Oh my god, Corey's got him a freaking monster on. Somehow, we forgot the freaking net over here. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but the net is somewhere over here, or at least I really hope it is because, oh, it's right there, it's right there. That is a brain fart moment right there. We freaking forgot the net, but there he has an absolute monster on, guys. I'm not even kidding you. If it's as big as I thought it was, he's got a giant sheep's head on. All right, guys, we're gonna go down there and get this, this sheep head. Corey, what do you mean, bro? That's a stud. That's way bigger than mine. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, that is Corey, that's a stud, dude. That is a, that's one of the biggest, well, no, that, that's a good one, dude. Are you kidding me right now, brother? Give me some. Hard for that fish. Golly. Yeah, that is 100% bigger than mine, man. Oops, watch out for the rod. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, that's a toad right there. That is what you call a marina monster, dude. Look at the mouth on that guy. Did the hook come out? I don't know, I think he either swallowed it or you're... Yeah, I think he swallowed it. Yeah, he did, which is why I think you're... I think that's the only reason you got that guy up. God. So we I, we literally forgot the net at the other spot because I, I caught that one sheep's head. I left the net down there. None of us even thought about it, but Corey hooks up. I'm going to look for the net. It's nowhere to be found. So I literally had to run all the way that way. <laughs> get the net. It took me like four or five minutes to go and get the net. But sure enough, we got back here and Corey has still got this sheep's head on. Man, that is a stud too. That's a good one, dude. Like that is a monster good one, golly man. yeah no that is a good one dude got him on the crabs huh yes, sir and he swallowed the hook too which is why i think that's the only reason i feel like Corey got this guy up it's because he swallowed the hook but yeah that's a marina monster right there all right guys we are solely free lining now we're just free lining a crab he is going to slowly sink to the bottom. Oh my gosh, that crab looks so good. I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be a sheep head that comes and destroys this crab. So whenever I'm free lining, I'm watching my line now because I obviously don't have a weight, so it's gonna sink really, really slow. But I'm just watching my line. And if something happens with my line, like real quick, then that means I may have a sheep head on, but you gotta be really patient whenever you're freelining. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. there he is, there he is. Come on, baby, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's on there. I don't know, he's swimming with it. Oh, doggone it. All right, we gotta remember this pylon, this one right there. All right, we only have a couple crabs left and they're all pretty small. We're gonna put two on at the same time. Just like that, man. Now that sheep head was literally feeding right here. I didn't see him, but that right there was 100% a uh, sheep head bite that I just got. So we're gonna, we're gonna cast literally in the same spot. If we get a fish on, it's gonna be, it is gonna be a cluster trying to get this guy by myself. Man, that was so freaking cool, dude. I've never had a sheep head. You guys probably aren't going to be able to see it, but I've never had a sheep head come up and follow the bait out of the water like that, man. Oh, yeah, one's on, dude. One's on. There he is. Oh, hey, DJ. You want to come help me real quick, bro? Oh, yeah, he's on. Yeah, it's in my pier cart, brother. Oh, I might be able to hand line. I might be able to hold on. All right, DJ, this guy I just met with the bow and arrow that got that stud sheep head. He's gonna go grab the net for me, man. But we got another sheeper, boys. I appreciate it, dude. He ain't a big one at all, but hey, that's dinner. Oh, dude, don't go that way. All right, appreciate it, dude. Yes, sir. Tiny little guy, but <laughs> hey, he'll keep. Appreciate it, bro. Y'all check it out, man. Sheep head number three, free line crab. Now my rod did happen to fall out. It fell out of the 
fell down whenever I was holding the sheep head, but man, that is sheep head number three, guys. We're waxing them today over here in this marina. This one's not very big, but he is definitely a keeper. They only gotta be 12 here in Florida, but man, y'all look at that. On the free line shrimp, man, catching them free line is so much different than a Carolina rig. It's so much more fun, but man, that is a quality little fish. That's probably the one that was following my bait up. I had I had a sheep head literally follow my crab up to the surface of the water, which I've never had happen before, but that was so cool. But we got three today. Corey let me keep his giant sheep set. So we're gonna fry these bad boys. We're either gonna fry them, we're gonna cook them some way, but we're gonna do a catch and cook with these guys. But I wanna try to catch one more uh, before we go, man. But quality, man. These fish are, the, are so much fun to target in these tight spaces. Awesome. Oh, that is going to wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that video, man. I had a blast fishing this, like, crowded, crowded urban area in downtown Pensacola for these sheephead. This, like, marina over here, man, is loaded with them. I actually lost, like, a lot more than what I caught. But, uh, man, there's cars going everywhere. It's crazy down here. But, man, what a blast. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. And also, if you like sheephead fishing or any type of land-based fishing, man, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we might do a catch and cook too. I'm still thinking about it. All right, guys. So we have decided to do a sheephead catch and cook, man. Now, this is probably, sheephead is honestly probably my second favorite fish to eat besides um, Florida pompano. You guys probably have heard me say that a lot. But man, oh man, if you guys have not already, sheephead is some of the best fried fish you will ever have in your entire life. But we just got back from the grocery store, man. We're gonna be frying this in peanut oil right here. And then this is gonna be the fish fry that we're gonna be using today, just like this. I already cleaned the sheephead. Um, I'll, have, I'll have like a card right here if you guys wanna check out, but I actually showed you how to fillet it um, in that video. So we're not gonna show it in this video, but uh, peanut oil and then that fish fry right here, man. So we're gonna be using. So this is just the classic fried fish recipe right here, man. All we're gonna be doing, guys, is putting egg with milk. This is gonna be our pre-soak. So we're gonna dip the fillets into this and then dip the fillets into the uh, fish fry. So that's what we're gonna do. Fish in here first, kind of get all of some of the excess milk off. And then we're gonna put it in the fish fry. That egg is gonna allow the seasoning right here, this fish fry, to really stick those fillets, man. It's gonna give it a great, great crispy finish. Now all we need is something to put the fillets in once we've got them pre-soaked. So we're gonna go ahead and open up. We're gonna, we're just gonna use this little Ziploc bag right here. This thing is gonna work just fine. So we're gonna open up the fish fillets like that. And we're just gonna dump that fish fry in here, man, just like that. Make sure it's nice and mixed up very, very well. What we're gonna do is we already have our peanut oil over there heating up, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, y'all look how big this sheep head filet is, man. That's the one Corey caught. <laughs> I mean, that is a, look at that. That is absolutely freaking nuts, man. So we're gonna dip these in there like that. And you can kind of see, you can, you can definitely feel it. You guys probably can't see it, but there's egg that sticks to this as well. And what we're gonna do is just get some of that excess milk off, toss it in the bag, man, just like that. That's all you do. So we're gonna go ahead and do this for each and every filet. And uh, once we do that, we're gonna be ready to throw some of these bad boys in the grease, throw it in the frying pan, as they say. So once we got about four filets in here, we don't wanna do it all at one time. So we're just gonna shake it up. That. And now that oil is getting pretty hot. I can hear it. So we're going to turn it down. And uh, man, we're ready to rock Crisco. So we're waiting for the oil to heat up. And once it heats up, we're going to start dumping some of these flays in. All right. So that oil is popping. I think it's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and drop one flay in. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good right there, guys. Now this pan, we should have gotten a little bit more uh, peanut oil, but unfortunately, man, some of these fillets are like that thick 
I forgot to cut them. I didn't realize that we were going to, uh, you know, have this big of a pan to fry the fish in. But typically, if you have a piece of fish that's like that thick, you, you know, either use more oil or cut it thinner. But, you know, we're just going to cook it on that side first, and we're going to flip it around. But, man, we're going to get back to you guys when all this is said and done. We still have a lot of sheephead left to fry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we are red T2 chow down. Y'all look, you got a head start on me over there. <laughs> now, obviously, I just want to go ahead and say it. This is not all for me and Kylo, okay? We're, we're going to be sharing some of this with our family. I mean, that is a lot of meat. This is from three sheep's head, guys. That's how much meat you can get from three sheep's head. So how do you like it? Is it pretty good? I'm telling you, fried sheep's head is one of the best fish you can probably eat out there. I'm telling you right now, it is so freaking good. I'm, my mouth's watering with you over there chowing down already. Let me get a little piece. You guys know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to go ahead and get a little bite anyway. Mm-mm-mm. Man, oh, man. 10 out of 10 is what this fried sheep's head is, man. I'm telling you, and it wasn't even fresh. I caught it yesterday. The flies have been sitting in the refrigerator on ice. You cannot beat it. If you guys haven't already, man, try to get you some sheep's head and try to fry it up just like I did, you will not go wrong. Fisher, you want a little piece, buddy? Hey, Come here. Water. Oh, wait, water. Let me get Fisher a piece. Dang, Fisher. I think Fisher gave it a 10 out of 10 to you guys. <laughs> He didn't even chew it. He just swallowed it. But yeah, that is going to wrap up the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that, man. That was so much fun going to the marina, catching those sheep's head. I had an absolute blast. Like I said, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it. It helps the video grow a lot. And also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And uh, one more thing, guys. I made a Patreon. So if you want to help support the channel more, feel free to go down there and sign up for a Patreon and contribute however much you want to each and every month. It's all up to you guys. Obviously, I don't expect a lot of you to do that. But if you do want to, there's an option to do so. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, man. Hopefully we'll get out this week and uh, catch some more fish. I really want to go surf fishing, but uh, yeah, man, I'm going to stuff my face with this sheep's head in the meantime. Rocco, get off the table. I swear, man, all these pets in this house are driving me crazy. <laughs> See you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching.